Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Arbitman LP Exhibitions, and in this episode we're going to be starting the Temple of Argus. By the way, I just realized I missed a chest. I, I just mean- oh wait, no I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I missed a chest. Damn it. Go back, you fool. Go back. There was a chest you missed. Ah, you idiot. It doesn't matter. What are these images supposed to represent? That looks like Mother having one of her visions. And this must be Father speaking with the Elder Gods. These sleeping figures might be my brother and I. How long was I unconscious? And what's this? It appears as if my brother and I are attacking some demon. I have no memory of that. What does all this mean? Where is everyone? It doesn't seem like anyone's worshipped here in ages. Fight. Just when Taven was trying to make sense of his quest to find the two artifacts that was left behind by Talia and uh, Argus, and him and Dagon were supposed to go to the Pyramid of Argus to pretty much kill off Blaze, these numbnuts appear. They're Red Dragon members, and for the record, there are two artifacts here that you have to pick, or two relics, if you will, you have to pick up. Darius's keys and Hotaru's flags. Now, for some stupid reason, Hotaru's flags did not spawn. Do you want to know what that means? Good old past me, after I finish completing this temple, will have to go back and start from the very beginning just so he can get the artifact because it didn't spawn at all. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, you, you see this, right? The artifact did not spawn whatsoever. It was supposed to be right in the area that I just stood in. And I was trying to get to it, which is why um, I was stopping. And look, it didn't spawn. It was supposed to be in that alcove right there. So with that said, um, hey, past me also forgot a treasure chest as well. So with that said, because it didn't spawn, I'm like, maybe that was a coin. No, that was Hotaru's flag. And now, you're going to have to run as fast as you can if you get set on fire. Because, uh, yeah, you stay too long, you're going to die. Oh, God. I did not mean to set myself on fire. All right. It's okay. We just wait till the fire dies. And we come to... Probably the part that people would get frustrated on. The crushers. Just watch the pattern of the crushers and just simply go through when they're up. Come on. One and move. There we go. You could actually try to hug the side, but they'll still have a way to try to crush you. Believe me, I've tried multiple times. Alright, this one's the tough one. One, two, three, four. Oh, that was close. Oh, and that power up I just got would also upgrade your health and also upgrade your uh, magic. So, with that said, the next thing you're going to have to do is get Striker's Radio by this treasure chest. Also, within the treasure chest is Ermac's. Uh, Ouch, that hurt. Hey, hey, stop that. I did not mean to get hit by that. I mean, I keep forgetting I have a block button. But anyway, in that treasure chest is Ermac's alternate costume. And across the room, I do believe that is, um, wait, Moloch's ball, yes. So with that said... Let's just clear out the room of all the enemies. Because you can go... As long as you're still in the palace and you don't beat it, you can go back. That would also mean you would set yourself on fire. And I accidentally opened a chest that poisoned me. That's why I died. But I don't have to worry about getting the artifacts now. All I just have to do is just beat the enemies and be done with it. Yeah, that was a stupid move on my part. And the messed up part is I gotta do all this all over again off screen because 
Hotaru's flag would not appear. Pretty sure this happened to a lot of people. The funny thing is, this is just an error on the emulator's part. And also an accident. But it's not going to be the only uh, terrible thing that happened. After all, would you please tell me what's going on? Yeah, that thing from last episode. Never forget. Come on, use the block button or the evade button, whichever one works. That takes care of you, and this takes care of you. Yeah, that was a lot of ass whooping I was given. I've already opened the chest, so if you've already gotten Ermac's outfit, you'll just get coins. Same thing with everybody else's outfit. And now at the end of that Crusher section, Sue House Watch. Alright. Be careful, because the pattern is a little bit more erratic than before. Easy does it. Come on. Easy does it. There we go. Now for the next one. Just one, two, run! Wait. Ooh, that was close. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's why I'm counting because of how many times it slams. Oh, by the way, if you get ten artifacts, meat's unlocked. So with that said, there's no artifacts in here, so uh. Go on ahead and get the power-up that's there. You will miss it because it's a, it's basically hidden behind an alcove. And so is that treasure chest! What the fuck? Anyway, let's continue with plot. my successor as protector of the realm. I give you each a weapon of great power. You will find them on the wall behind this altar. Your mother has also left you items of great importance. You will find them in her temple to the north. What are they? What is their purpose? You must find Blaze, a fire spot created by your mother. Use the items we have given you to defeat him. The victor will not only succeed me as protector of Adenia, but he will receive a gift worthy of a god. Go now, and may the Elder Gods watch over you. Sector to Warship, rendezvous for immediate evac. Master Sector, the prisoner is awake. Good. Now I can get the information I need. Ugh. What are you? I will ask the questions. I need to know what you learned from the altar in the temple. What message did you receive? Answer me! You are going to regret having torn Increase the power. Sword. <laughs> What information did you acquire from the altar? Headmaster Sector, the ship is being attacked! Incoming fighters! Special forces! Takunin Warship, this is Sonya Blade. You are in violation of the Earth Realm Accord. Surrender immediately or risk annihilation. Remain at your post. Initiate code K0NN185. Affirmative. I 
must get off this warship before it's destroyed. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end it here. In the next episode of Mortal Kombat Armageddon, I'm going to come back to the Takunin warship, but after I get Hotaru's uh, flags, which I'll do that off screen. So with that said, the Takunin warship is next episode, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.